what's good guys i am here with thomas in the car right now you already know guys um i just ended off one of my other videos i told you guys we're gonna be hitting up clay road today so that's what we're about to do we're about to go to clay road guys i don't know why my eyes look so tired i guess it's just like the, the view of where we're at right now but um you already know <laughs> um all my social medias are in the description guys if you guys do want to buy any merch all my merch is 50% off all you have to do use the code luzzy50 you get anything on the website for 50% off also you get a follow back you already know he's wearing the like the michael luzzy Always. Merch right now let's get it but uh, first off guys we got to get some gas because we won't even make it to clan road forget about that oh <laughs> we, need we a got 30 we got 32 miles yeah i only go to clan road with a full tank guys just just please if you go to clan road just make sure you have enough <laughs> yeah, gas because if you get sure. stuck on the road guys it's like a, what, like two that's miles? It. Two miles up? It's like ten miles the whole road. You think so? Yeah, yeah that's done. Yeah, and this mat curves and stuff. Yeah. yeah, guys, but we're out right now. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we just filled up the tank right now. We got 216 miles finally, which is good. But um, yeah, we're out right now. Yeah. Should be fun. Guys, the only place I get gas from, if anybody was wondering, is Costco. Costco gas is so freaking cheap, and it's pretty good. Like I've been going there, um, but. I don't know. I've been. I go to Wawa and Costco. That's about it. Because Wawa is super cheap, and I get hella gas. And then I get super from um, Wawa if I go to Wawa, but it's a lot more expensive. You know, you save fifteen dollars if you go to Costco. So why not go to Costco? Me vlogging just made me go the wrong freaking way on the highway. We're going the opposite direction from Clinton Road right now, so we got to turn around. We're just gonna waste more of our time. But um, we're gonna get there eventually, and we're gonna do the eleven mile ritual challenge. So let's freaking get it, guys. Make sure to smash the like button. I'll catch you guys when we get like halfway close, so that I'll, I'll update you guys unless you're not and let you guys know what's going down. I'm on a whole nother level of dumb right now. I just went right, I just literally got off the highway, went <laughs> back around and then got right back on the wrong highway. The same exact highway I just came from. Oh, we just we're circles. doing the dumb two right circles. now. Oh my God, we just did two full circles. We just look, we look stupid right now. And the people and the people that are following us behind probably think we're retarded too, but um, we're gonna get it right this time. I'll catch you guys when we get halfway. We just raced this Genesis. We just we just raced him. We we're leaving them right now. <laughs> yeah, we, he literally tried going faster than us, and we just caught up and. Woo! Like we, we weren't even racing. Like we seen them line up. They started racing, and we we're behind them just chilling. I seen them start racing. I was like, "Fruit, what about <laughs> all of them?" <laughs> like literally, guys, we went so fast. No, we are. We didn't speed them. All right, guys. So we just looked up the 11 mile race right now. Thomas literally just read that for like 20 minutes straight, guys. Oh it's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Literally, guys, I just sat here and read the whole like article on it. Because I'm gonna put the article in the description if you guys do want to read it. It's pretty insane, actually. Like, if this is if this is legit, then um, you might actually. I guess so. To start this challenge, you need to find a road that's surrounded by woods, and Clinton Road is literally the perfect place for that. It's all surrounded by woods. There's nothing around Clinton Road besides woods, <coughs> so that's the perfect place to start it. So we're gonna go on Clinton Road, and. When you when you're you're the first few miles on on the road of the 11 mile ritual challenge, you don't really see anything or hear anything. But once you pass those first few miles, a bunch of crazy stuff starts happening. So hopefully we do catch some stuff on camera, and we see what happens from there. But um, yeah, we're literally just arrived at Clinton Road as I'm filming this clip right now. As you guys can see the sign, this is not the fake Clinton Road. You already know. But Here we go. Let's get it. We're gonna go down. Once we make that right, guys, we're on Clinton Road. So let's go. I guess to know the challenge really started we have to like the road it's gonna get colder out and you're supposed to leave your windows up you can't turn the music on so i have to keep the music off but you it's gonna get cold on the first few miles that's how you know it's going it's gonna be cold and you're gonna see more stars so there's no stars in the sky right now so hopefully we do see some stars but i guess we're gonna find out and we're gonna get the stars so that's that's what has to go down anything else yeah and it says if the air is too cold to bear even with the heat on your only option is to speed up so i guess we got to go faster if it's too cold but it's not that cold right now, so it can't get much colder. With each mile, the road also becomes more complex, taking more turns and showing an increasing amount of road, road hazards. Turn to here first. But guys, I think, I don't know who started this challenge. So whoever did start this challenge, shout out to you. I can't, um, I can't shout anybody like personally out because I don't know who did it. But if you guys do know who did it, comment down below. Um, I don't know who the first person was that did it, but we're going to get this started right now. We literally just turned on a Clinton Road right here. We stopped so Robert could change seats with um, Freddie so they can, so the other person could drive. But um, this is the road, right, guys? This is just straight woods. That's all you see right now. If you're okay. If your vehicle is forced to stop because of a damage, then there's nothing left you can do but eventually freeze to death. What? So, that, that, I don't know what to say about that. Like, also, once you get farther down the road, it said the road gets more bumpier, which is exactly what happens on Clinton Road, so this could be this could be a thing. Let's get it. That's the scary house on Clinton Road, by the way, guys. So. That's the house that Chunky went to? Yeah, so we're going to start this off right now. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I'm going to update you guys when we're about two to three miles in because that's usually when stuff starts happening. So let's head out now. 
Guys, I've been coming to Clinton Road for almost a year now. I've came here probably like 30 to 50 times, and I've never seen a deer, and I swear I just seen a deer right down the side of the road. That was the first time I've ever seen one. I don't know where it went, and I really hope we don't hit a deer tonight. But uh, that, that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't yeah. be good. But guys, we're about a mile and a half into the road right now. We're gonna keep going, and um, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So as you can see, already the road is getting like more bumpy. If you guys can hear it and stuff, and if you see like the little, so yeah, the road's starting to get more bumpy already. I haven't felt any weather change yet, but I guess we'll find. I mean, the windows are up, so I don't know how the hell we're supposed to figure it out. We're all down a little bit. Yeah, we don't have a, a sunroof for nine, so. Alright, it definitely did get colder. It got like more like wet too. Oh, it's chilly. Yeah, it definitely did. What the hell? Oh. Alright, well, we're gonna keep going down the road. I'll let you guys know if you're. Yo, it actually did get colder. Let's just turn on the heat, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna turn the heat on, and then we're gonna keep going down the road. Let's get it. Alright, guys, so we're gonna stop right here. We're about three and a half, four miles in right now. We haven't really seen much change besides the temperature and the road. The like. The feeling of the road is not as smooth anymore, so we're gonna stop. We're gonna get out real quick and see if we see anything. But there's supposed to be like stuff, like little like creatures that start showing up and like little shadows and stuff. So we're gonna see if we see or hear anything when we get out of the car. Let's see, here we go, guys. All right, so here we go. First step into Clayton Road. Me and Mike are pretty, pretty, pretty like I don't know, scared. We got the boys here. We're deep. We're deep. We're deep. We got Freddy. We got Robert, we got Jesus in the back. It's pretty fast, eh? That's the number. I know. That that was so fast. All right, guys, so it said that you're not going to have service, and none of us have service. None right? of us. Anybody got service? Guys, no service. That's exactly how it started. No service. That's how it started. But we got a flashlight. We're about to walk a little bit and see if we find anything back there, because that's like a whole little walkway. So look, we're about to go. Oh, <laughs> is he peeing? <laughs> I guess so this bridge right here is where the where the um, kid jumped off and passed away at. But we're about to walk down this little alleyway right here. Yo. Car just passed by. Deep right now. Crap guys. I'm scared as hell. I can't see shit. To a clearing, the lining of the trees you left will disappear to reveal the lake with no end with the beaming. Great moon. I hear someone. There's a oh yeah, there's somebody coming. It's a car. Is that a car? Yeah, it is. All right, we're good. We're good. We gotta keep going. Oh. We're good. Oh no, it's a ghost. <laughs> You'll come to a clearing. The lining of the trees you left will disappear to reveal a lake with no end of the beaming. That's funny. That's funny. Look, there's a little like pond, lake kind of thing right there, and there's yeah. a lake back there too. Uh -huh. The illumination from the moon will be so spectacular that the vehicle's headlights will no longer be required. Restrain yourself from gazing at it. If you look at its light for even more than a few seconds, the road in front of you will, will end. What the hell? Will end. Throw your vehicle into the water. Yo, yo, did you hear that? No. Holy shit. Oh, what the no. fuck? To the line, to no. We gotta go, bro. We gotta go. We gotta go. What the fuck? Bro, we're going back to the car. We're out, guys. We're out. I don't know what the fuck that just was. I don't know what the fuck that just was, guys. We're just. Lock what the, the fuck was the that, bro? Bro, guys, I don't yo. know if you guys heard that noise. Yo. Hopefully, I got that on camera right now. Yo, I, I don't know what something just touched me, man. Yo, guys, that was the weirdest noise I've heard. Get out of here, bro. Get out. Get out. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't want to stay here, bro. It says floor. It says floor. Hell no. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm dipping. Hell no. I don't want no part of that one. What the hell? What the fuck was that, bro? Oh my god. We gotta go. We gotta dip. We gotta dip. Guys, I need to put down the camera for a second. We're gonna go a little bit down this road because what I just heard, I don't want to be around anymore. So I'll, be, I'll catch you guys in two seconds. Right two seconds. All right, guys. So we just we just ran down the road a little bit more. We're like another mile and a half in. We're at like the six or seventh mile right now. And it said on the six or seventh mile, you guys you won't be able to see anything. Your lights start to flicker, and you can't see anything in the sky. And there's no stars or nothing in the sky right now. Everything just completely went black. And I don't know what the hell's going on with the light right now. But check this out, guys. There's literally nothing up there. It's just straight. It's black. It says it looks like an abyss, and that's exactly what it is. No, yeah, literally it's just freaking that's insane. Like that's crazy right now, but we're gonna keep driving down the road, guys. Apparently, your car and stuff's supposed to shut off. I don't think my car's gonna shut off because of how new it is, but if it does, that would be insane. But I highly doubt it. We're just gonna keep, we're gonna keep traveling down the road right now. That was a pretty bad scare, but it, it's all good. We just gotta keep going because that was, that was just crazy. So we had to get the hell out of there. But guys, we've been hearing little noises here and there. I didn't get it on camera because we had the radio. We had just shut off the radio and stuff after we got out of the car. So we're gonna keep moving right now. If I do hear anything, I'll let you guys know. But we definitely did hear something back there, which is insane. We're gonna keep going right now. I'll catch you guys when we get to the ninth mile. We're in, we're on our seventh right now. The cold.
bolt is near fatal here. If you were to have a glass of or a bottle of liquid in your vehicle, it would be solid in a few seconds. Oh crap. Good thing we got the heat on. I don't even want to put my hand outside then. Yeah, me either. We're just gonna keep going, guys. Look, there's a whole bunch of bumps right here now, too. Another turn. Alright guys, we just pulled up our next stop right here. We just pulled up at this haunted playground kind of thing. This is like a Clinton Road like haunted thing. This is nothing that involves an 11 mile ritual, but we figured we'd stop here since it's like all about scary stuff right now. But we're gonna hop out. Alright, so we didn't see anything out here, but we're gonna head out before the cops do come. Because if you stay here for too long, the cops will show up. But guys, you know how I said about the stars? What was the thing? You see never ending stars? You'll see now, you'll see more like at stars first than we, ever. Yeah, at first we see no stars, and all of a sudden we see all of these freaking stars in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to get it on camera for you guys. If you guys don't believe me, I started out with 216 or 217 miles, and now we're literally at 205, which means we went all the way down this road, which is insane. And we're heading out right now. Um, So well, let's start heading back. If we didn't complete the challenge, then we'll never get off this road, and you guys will never see this video. If we did complete the challenge, then I guess we're gonna get off this road. All right, guys, so when, right as I turned off the camera, the music literally just started blasting out of nowhere. So I'm dipping off this road right now. Hopefully I get off pretty fast, but I'll catch you guys when I get off this road. I guess the challenge is not over, but I'm getting off this road right now. So we're dipping right now, as you can see. We're getting the hell out of here. I'm not playing this anymore. We gotta go. I'll catch you guys when we get them farther down the road. 